Hi, this is the Tropical Tidbit for Wednesday, August 23rd. Pretty quick update today in the Atlantic. All we really have left to track at this moment is Tropical Storm Franklin. The remnants of Emily may redevelop as they move northward, but harmlessly out to sea, impacting no one. There's a tropical wave to the southeast, which may also have a chance of development, but is also in the middle of the ocean and only a threat to shipping. If we look at Franklin here in the Central Caribbean, we are seeing landfall in the Dominican Republic this morning. It's difficult to see a well-defined low-level center. There may not be one uh, over these tall mountains, but we can see a sense of mid-level rotation visually to the eye as you look at this loop. And there's a broad wave pocket with southwesterly showing up on the south side and then east southeasterlies to the north and then curling back around in this kind of large wave pocket that continues to translate to the north and the size of this pocket is rather large even relative to Hispaniola itself which conveys the odds that Franklin will not dissipate on the other side uh, that's always a, a chance with these systems but given the size of the robust wave pocket that we now see it will make it to the other side and survive and then probably re-intensify after crossing over but for the moment uh, winds only at minimal tropical storm force estimated by the National Hurricane Center at 40 miles per hour, but the big story is the torrential rainfall over the tall terrain of Hispaniola, especially south-facing slopes and the center of the island, where many, many inches of rain may fall in some areas, uh, causing flash flooding, threats, landslides, mudslides, and urban flooding. So everyone in the Dominican Republic and Haiti, please stay safe. Fortunately, most of the showers have cleared out this morning in Puerto Rico, but some sporadic heavy showers may still occur there today. This is the water vapor RGB satellite loop showing Franklin here. And just to show that again, we have a big upper level trough currently draped across Cuba and the Bahamas. And there is a general background westerly or west southwesterly flow over the southwestern Atlantic to the north of Franklin. This is the zone that the storm is about to move into. Wind shear actually lightened a little bit over the storm today, but it's going to uh, get faster again as the storm moves up to the north and westerly wind shear of 20 knots is likely to persist for the next couple of days. And this westerly flow will also act to turn Franklin a little bit toward the east for a time. And it may be a little disorganized for a couple of days as the shear is likely to keep the storm lopsided with most of the heavy weather to the east of the center. However, conditions will likely improve for Franklin down the line, and we can see how this happens on the GFS forecast for upper level flow. This is a different way of looking at it. Potential vorticity in the upper levels in coloring, so this yellow kind of outlines the big upper level trough draped across the southwestern Atlantic, and the purple contours show low level rotation. So this is the depiction of Franklin over Hispaniola this morning. And what you'll see is as the storm moves toward the north, It'll move right into this belt of westerly flow, which you can see in the black wind barbs here, and this strip of yellow just to the north of the storm. But what happens is the storm ends up releasing latent heat due to all the thunderstorm activity associated with it, and that kind of causes this negative uh, potential vorticity, these blue colors to kind of push out against the upper level trough, eventually causing it to weaken and fracture. So on the model, you'll see some weakening of the trough and a little bit of a pinching off. We get this blue kind of encroaching on it. We get a pinch off of an upper level low to its west, and this whole trough axis ends up cracking, if you will, and eventually uh, Franklin breaks through, so to speak, and we end up having an upper low to the west and upper low to the east, and then Franklin has a lane to get directed toward the north as this upper level low kind of helps pivot the storm more toward the north or northwest. At the same time, the upper level flow is now out of the south or south-southeast rather than straight out of the west over the system. This will result in a reduction of the vertical shear, allowing Franklin to intensify, and we could see it become a hurricane and maybe a strong one on its way north. Bermuda's up here, and the extent to which Franklin will be a threat to the island will depend on exactly how much this upper low pivots the storm toward the west before it turns back to the northeast and recurves. This will not be a threat to the United States. You can see a belt of westerlies across the mid-Atlantic coastline here. There's another upper level trough that comes down. So Franklin's track will be uh, to the east, toward the northwest for a while, and then back toward the northeast in front of that trough. That's a pretty solid expectation from all modeling right now. But the big question for land impacts after Hispaniola is Bermuda. And that track is still a little too close for comfort here. Most of the tracks from the guidance today 
are west of Bermuda, which is right here on your screen, but they are much too close for comfort. And of course, uh, the hurricane, uh, if it were a hurricane at that time, will not be a single point as depicted by these model spaghetti lines, uh, but a large wind field and largest on the eastern side. So even a track like this uh, would still bring impacts to the island. So this is definitely something to watch if you're in Bermuda. We're probably about five days away from the point of closest approach, and things could certainly shift around based on the details of that interaction with the upper level trough that I just showed you, so be ready for forecast changes. This is the current forecast from the National Hurricane Center, showing that track, again, tropical storm warnings in blue here along most of the coastline of Hispaniola, including the Turks and Caicos. The Turks and Caicos are on the weak side of Franklin. There's less weather, less heavy wind, less heavy rain on the west side. The tropical storm conditions certainly still possible today in those islands, and again, continuing flash flooding risk uh, over the entire island of Hispaniola. Again, this turned toward the east for a while as a tropical storm and then a pivot toward the left. And it's no coincidence that as it makes this turn toward the left, it becomes a hurricane as that's when the conditions will become favorable is exactly at this turning point. And then a strengthening hurricane with winds possibly approaching 100 miles per hour or stronger is expected within five days. And right now, again, the track is west of Bermuda, but that could change. We've seen it shift a little bit to the left, which is good news. Uh, but it could also shift back. Five-day forecasts have an average error that is, you know, still pretty large, as you can tell by this forecast cone depicting where the center of the storm is most likely to track, and Bermuda is still inside it, and the wind field will likely be fairly large by the time it gets up here, uh, so we could see impacts even if the exact track is not over the island. So we'll keep an eye out for that. And really in the Atlantic, there's not a whole lot else going on. Again, the storms out here, not a threat to land areas. The only area we have to watch over the next few days is the lifting north of this monsoon trough over the Caribbean. We talked about it more in detail in yesterday's video, but this will be migrating into the Yucatan Peninsula and Western Caribbean area. And so we will have to watch the Southern Gulf of Mexico and Northwestern Caribbean for potential tropical disturbances that might be a threat to develop going into next week. Right now there's no solid consensus in the modeling that anything like that will actually happen, but there is a chance it'll be a zone to monitor because it is the peak of the hurricane season and things can happen and they can happen quickly, uh, so we'll watch it uh, over the next several days. But right now, no imminent threats besides Franklin. Stay safe in Hispaniola and keep an eye out in Bermuda just in case. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.